Hello everyone, Ebon113 here with another review. So I was at my local Kmart the other day. It's like, wow, those things still exist. I was kind of surprised. Um, they have a fairly decent Lego and Mega Block selection. So if you're looking for like older sets, they typically have them just because they don't put them on clearance. Um, I happened to pass an aisle where I saw a Lego style model, but it wasn't Mega Constructs or Lego. It was some brand called Just Kids, and that's kids with a Z, not an S. So I was like, wow, that's actually a pretty decent looking model for you know, some kind of like military style destroyer or ship. Um, so I'm kind of interested in it. It was $40, so I was a little skeptical about buying off-brand Lego for that much. But I was like, you know, if this was a Lego or Mega Block set, it'd be easily $60 to $100, easily. Um, so I, bit, well, I actually bought a smaller set just to see the quality it was some kind of spaceship, um, kind of looked like a drone or something. So um, I bought that first, or I bought them together, um, kept the receipt, and built the little one just to see how the quality of parts were. And they're fairly decent. They're not, not uh, you know, what we're used to in Lego and Mega Constructs, but it's it's manageable. It doesn't fall apart by looking at it. So um, that's a plus. So I figured, yeah, if it's if it's that crappy, I'll just glue all the pieces together and at least look like a, a decent model. So, um, I was actually fairly impressed by the quality of it. Um, the only thing is I'm not too sure about the scale. Because as you can see back here, there's like this little itty bitty helicopter. But then there's full sized figures um, on the set. So, I just, I'm not too sure about the scale of this thing. I'm pretty sure the scale is probably more for this. The figures are just there, just for play value, just to, you know, for kids to have fun with. But uh, just, for me, it just doesn't make sense. I um, almost rather would not have the figures. Um, speaking of the figures, they're actually fairly decent, and that's a pretty good mold for a gun. Um, to the untrained eye, you could probably think this is a Lego minifigure. Like, it's, like, almost dead on to a Lego minifigure. I was kind of surprised about that. Um, came completely in pieces, so he didn't come together like, well, I guess most Legos don't come together anyway, but, uh, like, everything was disassembled. His entire torso section, the legs, the arms, like, it was all, um, separate. So I was kind of surprised about that. So it comes with four figures. Um, so you got this one guy with a machine gun. I guess you got the, um, the captain who has a black hat and a little coffee mug and some uh, binoculars and I guess you have two other crew members um, one with a radio and one with some kind of signaling device I'm not too totally sure but he has nice little glasses and a beard um, so like I said they're pretty decent figures I was kind of surprised about that then you have this strange little mini build of a helicopter that just Looks kind of pitiful in my opinion, so I'll probably just scrap that one for parts. Um, but the build itself was interesting. Um, it seems mostly structural, structurally sound. The only thing is through the front part, it um, it's a little sketchy building it, so I'm not too, not too comfortable with those. Might go back and redesign that, you know, if I got time and parts. But it's a, actually a pretty decent looking ship. Um, this on the front swivels. 360 degrees, so it's like a main cannon. Um, you got some railing through here. And you have like a SAM system. So a surface to air missile launcher right there. Let's see if I can... Oop. Yeah, that's one problem I keep encountering. The uh, rails don't like to stay on, so probably have to fix that or adjust it. So um, you have like a little SAM system. One of my gripes is there's room to put figures in through there to show them piloting the boat, but there's no easy way of taking off, like, because this tower is connected to the roof. Um, so you have to take off the entire roof and the tower just to get to the inside, and I feel like that could have been designed a little bit better. Um, so you got, like, communications rays, um, sensors. You got a few lights. Um, in the back, they show, like, a... a don't... Well, it's not a poorly designed aspect. I've um, got one little peg and too much friction on this. But it's supposed to simulate like you can walk in there. 
and I'm assuming these are torpedo tubes. I'm not too totally sure. Um, they probably delve down and shoot them out. If anyone's military or been in the military or knows more about this, um, feel free to tell me in the comments. There's some more radar stuff, and there's like a helicopter pad. Then um, it's supposed to be a winch of some sort, I guess, but there's no, I guess, rope or a hook. So um, we got like a little storage compartment under here. If I can get open. It's like a little store. I don't know what's supposed to go in there, but uh, it's there. And then the same thing on the other side. Um, I do like these little print. Actually, these aren't prints. These are stickers. Um, it's like a little lion's head. I'm not too sure why that would be on a naval vessel, but yeah, to each his own. Um, railing, more railing. Like I said, the other side's pretty much the same. There's another storage compartment uh, right here. If I can get it with my fingernail. So you can store stuff in there. It's pretty deep. Um, I don't know if I want to show you the inside of it without taking it all apart. And then you look at the bottom and there's wheels, so it's not just scraping across surfaces. It, it can actually roll. And it's pretty bare bones through the bottom of it, so it's mostly just bricks through here, plates going across just to support it, and another row of bricks. So um, it's pretty empty on the bottom. If you want to add some weight or want to get rid of some pieces, you could probably fill all that in, but, um, so, interesting little model, um, I don't know if it has much play value, um, but definitely looks cool, I think it's worth 40 bucks, at least for, you know, you know if you're, if you like a military style, you know, displays, I think it definitely looks good, I don't know if it's, like I said, I don't know if it's figure scale, just because of the size of the helicopter pad and, um, the helicopter itself, but, uh, I thought it was a fairly decent set for $40. Um, wish Lego or Mega would make something like this, but yeah, that's another story entirely. So, like I said, if you're in a Kmart and you find this set interesting, um, I'd recommend it for 40 bucks. Uh, the figures are, you know, like I said, they're almost exact Lego replicas. I'm kind of surprised how very close they are. I mean, there's like a few maybe small details you could tell, like maybe the head's not as cylindrical or shaped the same way as a Lego figure, but uh, pretty much does it for the review. Like I said, $40 is not terrible. It's not great either, but yeah, looks good on display. So tell me what y'all think in the comments below, and I'll see you next video.